What's the crack, lads? Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another Player of the Week review. So this is kind of a, yeah, this is an interesting Player of the Week. I'd say it's one of the better ones, especially if you are a newcomer. Obviously, Konami announced that they had 600 million downloads on the eFootball series across all devices. And look, lads, I mean, there's a lot of new players playing this game. So if you are new, check out the channel. There's a lot of tips and tricks to get you started and anything that you need to know pop into the comments below. We have an excellent community here. And if I don't answer you, one of the lads in the chat or in the comments will answer you as well. But yeah, these are a lot of kind of rinse and repeat players. And when I say rinse and repeat, I don't mean that they've been out before, but similar versions of them have been. And there's been a lot of different versions of Messi, Foden, Casemiro, uh, Liao, there's been a load of versions of him. Ito, there's been a lot of versions of him. Um, but there are some nice players here that are definitely worth looking at. But we will be comparing other players as well and similar players to them and showing you the differences and what they're trying to do with the stats because I think it is quite interesting with the way V2.4 is gone, right? But yeah, we're going to start off with a couple of the... I would say the non-game-changing ones, or not even game-changing ones, but the, the ones, the, the players that are not going to really make your squad, if you are looking to be very competitive, um, even though this guy is on an A-form rating, as a centre midfielder, he just does not have enough um, anything really passing his poor uh, for a player. Well, 83 low pass isn't too bad, but the biggest thing I, I, I kind of don't like about this card is the lack of player skills, the lack of unwavering form, that when he goes past A rating which will probably be next week or so, um, he's going to you know, just be another average centre midfielder, right? So if you do spin him, uh, GG's and unlucky, because, yeah, I don't think that he's going to be worth... Look, obviously, if you want to sign players that are kind of, like, different and unique, um, this guy will fit the bill for that, especially if you're a fan of him or the team. Um, but in terms of just, like, for on given average kind of uh, advice and average kind of, like, looking at this guy on face value... There's a lot of better centre midfielders there, especially whole player midfielders, because they are very hard to play with unless you have a top tier whole player, which we'll get to in a second. We also have Ito. I have covered Ito quite a lot. He does have super sub on this card. He does have unwavering form. I quite like this Ito card. Um, it's very, very decent for kind of like, you know, you don't need to do any training with him. You've got your 90 play style across the board as a player of the week. Stamina and speed are good. Acceleration is excellent. Dribbling is very, very good. A little bit concerned about the ball control at 77. Um, but I think a lot of his stats are pumped into finishing and curl, which... Look, the finishing and curl, you can still do shots, but I just don't think it's as overpowered as it was before V2.4. So do it that watch you guys must. He can only play on the right flank as well. He can't play left or through the middle, really. Um, a good player, obviously, he plays for Stad Reims, and he's a good player, man. I have him. I have multiple versions of him, and he is a bit of a beast for me. We've also got Junior Firpo who plays for Leeds, obviously, the Spanish man. He's got some nice player skills, standard form. He doesn't have blocker. He does have interception, though, but blocker is a big one for him. As a left back, he doesn't really need it, um, which kind of makes me think, yeah, that this guy could be a very dominant left back. Now, he does have true passing and pinpoint cross, and he also has early crosser with speeding bullet. So this guy on the surface doesn't look, you know, like he's going to be a massive addition to your squad. But I genuinely think he could be with that 90 speed. A little bit concerned about his 83 stamina and the 68 defensive awareness. But then left and right backs, you do need to do most of your manual defending with them uh, in, compared to centre backs. Because centre backs by kind of default will usually have defensive awareness that will defend for you because they'll have it over 88, which is kind of the, the, the kind of like... Um, the defensive stat that you need for the AI to defend for you and make blocks for you and stuff. So yeah, he's not a bad option if you do get him. He is on A form this week. Um, very, very nice card as well. We also have Rafael Liao. I was going to leave him till a little bit to the last, but we've covered a lot of cards of Liao. Uh, super sub obviously makes this card worthwhile. Double touch, soul control, rising shot, heel trick, my favorite dribbling stats. And this guy's got explosive power, explosive speed. He's fairly tall as well, so he can get on the end of finishing. He's a very unique player. And he's, again, he's a whole player. So this is what you're kind of comparing guys with. You know, are you going to have Rafael Liao? Um, or are you going to have the first guy that we saw, Gabriel Viega? Like, it's not going to be a, a really a choice because you are going to always go for more speed and more power and more everything. Um, obviously, there are a couple of exceptions to the rule, like Pedri and stuff. But yeah, I mean, Liao... I think he's down as an AMF here. He's a very unique AMF, but I would definitely be playing him on the left wing because you don't need to worry about finishing or passing. 
that much even though he's got fairly high stats in those for a left winger but you can have a lot of the player skills like long range curler rising shot but on top of that you also have speeding bullet and incisive run which when you're not controlling him your players are going to be you know controlling when you go up with the ai the ai is going to be controlling making the runs forward for him he doesn't have the highest defensive awareness for a winger to make those runs but i do think he is extremely good Foden then as well he's similar right so he's similar ball control dribbling speed pace balance everything is kind of similar he also has standard form he doesn't have a super sub like Liao but he does have double touch long range curler and he also has the all important one touch pass this is super important if you are playing a player that you play a lot of possession you know because you don't need massive passing stats if you've got one touch pass or true passing look with v2.4 lads if you are a newcomer to the game you're going to get a lot of ball intercepted you're going to get a lot of passing lanes blocked down so don't worry too much about the passing in my opinion at the moment they might change it in the future but there's always going to be similar cards to this out in the future anyway right going through Mafi quite quick again he's not in fairness he's not going to be a good center forward um look obviously you can play with him you'll score goals with him he does have everything that you need to score 81 finishing 83 acceleration but I do think that this guy is more kind of like a, a kind of in an aerial threat and he doesn't have enough heading or jump uh, for him to be absolutely meta with the way the game is at the moment. We also have Volpi. This guy is just a standard goalkeeper, 87 reflexes. I don't get too, cons I don't get too uh, excited about any goalkeeper that doesn't have over 90 reflexes. He also has inconsistent form. So that is a bit of a pity there as well. Don't need to spend too much time on him. We've got Kendreva. So Kendreva is going to sit in the pocket, lads. He's going to be a creative playmaker. He does have unwavering form. He does have some beautiful player skills. He doesn't have one touch pass, which as an AMF SS kind of hybrid player with a creative playmaker and play style, I think that is a bit of a pity on this card. Like you can see there that he's probably getting, right? He's probably getting a boost of about two or three to his overall for having finishing curl and kicking power in very high stats there, which you're not going to be really using with him because you have to go in a little bit further now to shoot those curl shots. They're, they're a little bit nerfed. But other than that, he's a fairly standard SS or AMF. We also have Romero. So obviously had a great World Cup. This guy is a very good tackler, nice defensive stats, and this is what I'm talking about with center halves that have by default really high defensive awareness. I would say, right, that because of his height and stuff, I do like the fact that he's he's got 88 physical contact. They've kind of made changes to how players intercept the ball. He also does have that all-important interception and blocker uh, double player skill. We also have fighting spirit, so his stamina is not going to be needed to be in the 90s, like that 83 stamina. He does have heading as well. I'd be intrigued to play with him. I've played with his standard version and the Argentina pack. Um, which are quite decent but yeah I mean as a destroyer you know what you're going to get with any of these center halves I have done a center halves you know best center halves for v2.4 and I talk through everything um, I will try link that video at the end of this one now we're on to the main man the beast the beast in Manchester Casemiro yes I'm biased yes he is an absolute monster look at this guy's stats man this is a very very good version of Casemiro if you don't have him already look at him beautiful Anchorman obviously is a very important role if you are playing one across the middle as a DMF or if you are pairing him with a very creative center midfielder that doesn't really have any defensive capabilities. Now, is this the best version or the best card of Casemiro that you can possibly get? No, by not by a long shot, right? Because I think, you know, the passing, the ball control, the dribbling, that's fine. But his acceleration and his lack of, you know, outright defense, you can get a better card for this. But if you are looking for a one-stop kind of like uh, player of the week this week that will just be kind of game changing for you a lot of people kind of complain sometimes about Casemiro because he is very slow and that is because of two um, stats right the first one is the dribbling and the second one is acceleration so you're not going to be running with this guy it's literally going to be a blocker a stopper you're playing a center midfield a center back in DMF that's basically how you should view Casemiro he's just kind of like the first uh, stage um, of you know stoppage when you are defending um he does have everything that you could possibly want as an anchorman but i do think that there are better versions of him and i'll show you in a second over an eFootball db we do have him up here right so this is his card here if we hover over and have a look at the card that was released which was his uh real madrid pack way back when right you can kind of see the differences that they're making in the cards and even when his standard version here 
goes 23 levels, which means you can kind of train him up. Like you have minus six points there on defensive awareness when you compare him. So when we hover over these, this is the card we're comparing with this one. You can see that his standard card has minus six on defense and minus six on everything except for finishing and header, right? We don't really need physical um, contact with him or finishing or header. So we don't need to pump that up by nine stats, right? So if we were to actually just train up his standard card here, we can actually get a better defensive player um, very, very easily while still having the 70 there, while still having the, you know, the same acceleration and by still having the same passing. So it's, it's yeah, obviously the dribbling and tight possession will take a hit, but we don't even need to go that high with the defense and we'll still have a very, very vastly superior um, defender, you know, like that's able to defend there. And we could pump up this a little bit as well um, if you wanted to. You know, we can go six and six on that or we can either go one more into uh, or two more into aerial strength if we want to get that up. So don't be worrying when you see these player of the weeks. It's the same with Foden. You can see that's his 95 rated version there. But we've seen previous versions of Foden. You can see what they're trying to do. You know, minus five on finishing. This card has um, as a, you know, a kind of a player. He has plus one on his low pass, but they've got the same overall rating. So, yeah, don't worry about overall ratings too much. You can see here that this card, right, this 95 overall right midfielder compared to this 95 overall left winger, you can see the discrepancy in the card there. Like, there's this card is way better. This card is way better here compared to this one. But it's so negligible that you don't really need to worry about it too much, right? So, last but not least, we do have Messi. Now, a lot of people will have free version Messi. Um, I think this is a poor version of Messi, lads. He does, he does have one-touch pass, yes, and he also has excellent ball control, dribbling, tight possession, finishing, curl, everything that you could possibly want. And cutting in from the right flank with that left foot of his, you will be able to score more goals than most other players will be able to score, um, or with most other players in game, than you will with Messi, right? But that 69 speed and 72 stamina is going to mean you're going to have to replace him after 60 minutes. Um, will they change that with V2.6 or V2.5 or whatever? Um, it will be interesting to see that because I think it is deliberate in a way. I think it just needs to be tweaked maybe about 10%. Um, but the rest of his stats, I think if you're going to play Messi, I think you need to play him as a really slow, methodical AMF. That's where I would play him as a creative playmaker, take him out of the SS and take him out of the right wing and just play him as an AMF. And I think you will have a bit of a beast there. But everyone should have the free version of Messi if you've played the game for a while anyway. So that is it for me, lads. That is it for the player of the week. Bit of a lengthy one today, but there's a lot of players to get through, a lot of talking points. And we will be back quite soon with another video. And I'll be back later with a live stream. So hope to see you in the chat. Peace.